Hi everyone, today for dinner I am making the baked feta pasta that went viral on TikTok. And you know me, I have to have onions and, and peppers in every single thing I cook, so there it is. We're going to start off putting a block of feta cheese inside a baking dish and then grabbing a pint size package of uh, grape tomatoes. I'm cutting them in half. You don't have to. I find that cutting them in half actually makes them cook easier and faster. So after you uh, sample a few, you know, cut them up and put them in there. I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes, but this recipe actually turns out really well. So then we drizzle some olive oil over the top. You want about two tablespoons and then put some salt and pepper on there and then also some uh, garlic powder. And then what I'm doing here is I'm just going to um, sweat some the onions and the peppers real quick, you know, hurry up and cook them. I'm not frying them. I'm just trying to sweat, sweat them. Alrighty, they are almost done. Yum, don't those look good? Okay, so let's put this into our air fryer. I like this style of air fryer because it doesn't just air fry, it also uh, bakes and then there's also a rotisserie uh, thing that you can put in there, which is pretty cool. So now that it's done cooking, let's pull it out and go on with the next step. Doesn't that look beautiful? So now what we're going to do is we're just going to smash some of the tomatoes um, to get them to release their juices a little bit more. And then we are going to dump in the onions and peppers that, uh, that you've seen me sweat out. They are perfect tenderness and um, there's a little bit of fluid so that also helps. You need a little bit of fluid in this one. Um, to make it into the sauce and that's what this is that's what's going on right now that we're making the sauce so we're just stirring it up here and kind of pushing down on the on the uh, feta cheese to um, help it out kind of smush it down a little bit and then start uh, swirling it into the tomatoes and the fluid that came from the tomatoes and the onions and peppers you do have to kind of get this mixed in pretty good or else it's just going to taste like tomatoes or just feta and you don't really want that you want them flavors to definitely combine together you can see even doesn't matter how long it takes you five minutes or whatever is this is piping hot and even after you finish and put your pasta in there and everything it's still it's still nice and hot so don't worry about it cooling off too much before you have a chance to put your pasta in there and be able to eat it so let's put some pasta in we got some rigatoni put that in there it didn't take as much as I cooked I cooked about three quarters of a package and it took less than half of the package so now we're just gonna combine it all together and then make sure we get it all all the pasta coated really nice with the sauce. And then we're going to set it down on a plate and taste it. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look good? Thank you, TikTok, for teaching me this recipe. This is a new go to recipe for me. It's really good. I didn't have enough oil in my pan, so it was a little dry, so I got to put a little more oil on on there. Just a little sprinkle, mix it in a little bit. And there's my puppy saying, can I have some? No, buddy, you can't have any of this. And there we go. What would you guys think? Is this a new uh, keeper for you? I like it.